Thank you so much for watching the Press Avenue YouTube channel. My name is John, and today we're going to talk about Beaver Builder and how to use conditional logic within the Beaver Builder template. So first off, here's our website, pressavenue.com, where we have blog posts about each of our videos with more detailed instruction. So we've had a lot of comments about people saying, well, how do you do this, that, and the other? Where's the code snippet? I can't copy it out of the video. We have it then in these blog posts here. Additionally, on our YouTube channel, we've started putting things in playlists to make it easier to find. So if you go at the top, uh, first go ahead and subscribe, that'd be really helpful. And head over to playlists. And if you want all things Beaver Builder, we have 12 Beaver Builder tutorials right here. And then we have different WordPress ones throughout. So how to make a site, how to secure WordPress, business tutorials, email marketing, whatever, um, ones that you've just straight asked us. So 36 different questions answered in this one, et cetera. So head over to playlists. And then lastly, um, again, go ahead and hit that thumbs up if this is helpful. And leave a comment below letting us know what is or isn't working for you. And we'd love to help out. All right, so let's get into this. So we have a Beaver Builder site that we built. And it is a property management site. Uh, so here it is here. It's using Beaver Builder, Beaver Themer, um, and different templates to get the job done, and the Beaver Builder theme itself, sorry. And what they wanted on this particular one was to show a listing as Premier. So right here it says Premier. On a regular listing, it doesn't say Premier. So they have special houses that fall into this Premier category, and they have ones that do not. How we built this was using Beaver Themer. So if I go up to Page Builder here, it says single listing. So this regular listing is just a template from Beaver Themer, and it doesn't say Premier. But if we go over here, this one does, and it's actually using the same template. And the way we do this is with conditional logic. So let me show you where conditional logic comes in for this particular image to kind of just show you the basics on what it can do. So first I'll go to Page Builder and I'll go to Single Listing. How I created this was within Beaver Themer. I said just house, just houses which are called listings, which are a custom post type. Uh, we do have a video on that. And then um, I'll show you where the conditional logic comes in. So down here I have this image and when I click it, it shows that it's a regular photo. All right, I don't have the condition in here, let me go back. All right, I actually have it on the row, but you can do it on the photo as well. So I'll go to row settings, and then we'll scroll down, actually advanced, sorry. And then under advanced, typically what you see is under display, it just says always. Um, and you, people don't really come in here. So under display, we actually have it as conditional logic. Additionally, you can say display it never, um, always, logged out user, so if you have maybe a membership site, you can have logged in users see this particular thing or conditional logic. So I did conditional logic and then we open the settings. So this settings panel is super powerful and you can drill down things all over the place. So what we have is the conditional logic settings and it says display this content if the following conditions are met, dot, dot, dot. So we have a taxonomy term that we've already set up but we can do other things like if it's a parent of a post. So I do a lot of Beaver Builder tutorials. I can have the little Beaver Builder icon on the top of all my posts if it's under the parent um, post Beaver Builder tutorials, or if it's in that category, um, or if it's in that archive, or if a certain author did it, you could show the author bio at the top. So there's lots of different things. So I have a post taxonomy term equals or does not equal, but I want it to equal, and then here's regular categories, regular tags, template categories, those are um, Beaver Themer templates, so if it was in a certain category, you could show a certain icon, a certain, certain style, title, whatever. But I have listing status, property type, and I will do status, and the status is Premier. So now, if the particular property status shows as Premier, it'll show, save, save, this right here. And that's how I get these ones 
regular properties don't show as Premiere. If I come down and I find a Premiere, so let me go here and I'll let it load. Of course, it's going to go a little slow. Let's see here. There it goes. Premiere, there's the emblem. If I come down, this is a Premiere four person house. If I click it, there is the Premiere emblem at the top. So that's just kind of just skimming the surface of conditional logic for Beaver Builder. If you have additional questions about how you would use this, where you'd put it, etc., please let me know in the comments below. If this was helpful in any way, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. We just love hearing from you guys. Thank you so much for watching.